Hey guys, Ken for Lionel for less, and uh, now we're on step two of uh, trying to get these passenger cars uh, shaped up. And the second thing I usually do is just, you know, try to give them a good scrub to uh, see what we've got to do to them at the uh, Use like a really tight paintbrush like this. And then a little more aggressive one to, uh, but it's still soft, it's still a detail brush to, to get down in the ridges in the other areas. You want to run your water kind of hot if you can. And you're going to take your paintbrush. A little dish liquid on it. Get some suds going. Put the car under there. This won't hurt it at all. They're already rusted a little bit. And it wouldn't matter if they weren't rusted. And just suds them, suds them up with this brush. Being careful to get into you know, all the little places. Clean the inside out, get all that dirt and dunk out from the previous 50, 60, 70, who knows how many years now. And you know this, the water is getting too hot now for me to stick my hand back under. And then just take this brush and give it a nice throw. This way, when we go to the other steps in the restoration, we'll know how far we've got to go and what, what material we need to use to uh, clean it. You always want to go with the least aggressive thing, but sometimes things such as rust can require other methods. Put the car back under there. And so all the soap off good. And voila. Looks a lot better already, doesn't it? And you see as when you dry it off, you'll still see all that oxidization in there and everything, but well, we're going to take care of that on the next step. But already we've come pretty far from where they were, coming out of the box. You know, if you didn't care about running it, you could put that on your track right now. Yeah, you just repeat the process over and over. Okay, this one's pretty bad. As you can see. It's got a lot of surface rust, gunk on it. So, let's see what a wash will do for this one. You'd be amazed sometimes at just what a wash will do for this thing. Okay, the door came out, so we're going to save that. And always keep your parts pin. I took all the bottoms off before I did this. It's made out of that masonite. I really didn't want to mess with it. Get it wet, but check for other loose parts. Check that none of these parts are loose. And suds it up again real nice. Just with dishwash, washing up with nothing fancy yet. Like I said, if we can get it clean with this, fabulous. But if not, we have other things we can do. I showed you this, we'll clean it, but it usually doesn't do anything for any of that 50 year oxidization type of stuff going on. 
And we'll take that, get our other brush, put this stuff down in the grooves, pull this dirt out of there. Careful around your uh, grab irons and other things, the add on parts. Separately apply details. And we'll just give that a good rinse on. Do this with the water as hot as you could possibly stand it. And there's car number two. And look at that. Just what that wash did. I thought that was rust on there. And so did the guy that sold them to me. Well, it wasn't. So that, that's good for our tape. Just give it a quick dry on the paper towel. Paper towels and Q-tips will become uh, very essential in your life if you uh, do any type of train restoration or working on trains. But it's a way to uh, build your collection, save money, and you know I've also wound up collecting some unique pieces this way too. Stuff no one wants or uh, stuff that people think is beyond the point of return. And, you know, sometimes it is. So, you do take a gamble. But there's that old pathetic observation car that we were looking at. You do see we still have oxidization here inside the, the antenna part that was an add-on. But otherwise, not so bad. Okay, let's do the Vista Dome and then we'll, we'll move on. And here's this Vista Dome that came with this set. As you can see up here, you know, the guy that sold me these, he thought that that perhaps could be rusting. So did I. It's got that color in it. Not much longer, for sure, it would have been. Okay, so we're going to take our brush again. Get some more suds on it. Put the car. And just work those suds all the way around. Nice and good. This will never scratch anything. I've been doing this stuff a long time now. And these methods have never caused any damage to anything that I've worked on. Take your other detail brush. I suppose you could use a soft toothbrush to touch kind of thing. Make sure it's a soft one. And work down in those crevices. Get up here, scrub. Be careful around the separately applied details. Get inside those rooms real good. Put the car over, wash the inside, just to get the grime out.
And I, I, as you can see, I keep my water here pretty hot just for this purpose. I'm going to watch when you take a shower, but I'm going to need to clean some trains out that hot water is the best thing you can have. Okay, and there's car number three. Looking a lot better. And let me dry it off. Yeah, we've got some ox oxidization in there still. But uh, overall, yeah, this set's not as bad as I thought it was in the beginning. So, uh, once again, hooray for our team. You see there's some oxidization there, discoloration around here, and we'll get to work on that in the following steps. But, uh, yeah, it looks like these cars are going to turn out great. Woohoo! <laughs> I mean, you guys are not going to believe what these cars look like when we're done. Uh, here's the end pieces that came with them. Now, there was only a couple cars that had end pieces, and they have this type of foam on it, and I'm kind of leery of getting that wet, so I'm going to hand wash those with, like, you know, some Windex or something like that. And I probably, you know, since these parts are going to be not able to get probably I will research see if I can and uh, the Vista Dome needs some repair but of course we're going to have to clean it first in order to uh, make any type of uh, glue or repair stick so and now this is extremely fragile at this point because of the years and age so we're going to take it nice and easy with this. Just one piece of big plastic. It's got a, you know, right here it's separated. I don't know, it seems like that might have been cut. I'm not sure. But, uh, that's what you get when you deal with this old stuff that's been modified once or twice already. It'll be fun sometimes, and a lot of times you wind up with some really cool stuff. And as you see, I'm gingerly patting this down with the salt and water and the easiest paintbrush. I don't want to cause any damage to this because uh, I know I'm not going to find one of these anyway. Turn that water down a little bit to press the texture of this because we're doing it on the plastic now. And give that a rinse. And kaboom. We've got a pretty nice looking Vista Dome again already. Looks to be, uh, might be kind of promising. I'm not going to try to stick that in there right now, but... I think you kind of get the picture. Look how much better from when we started tonight. Okay, this is Kenny and Lionel for Less. Part 2 of How to Restore Aluminum Passenger Cars. Stay tuned for Part 3 coming up.